I have a dilemma. An Apple dilemma. An Apple product dilemma. But just hop right into it. Let's start with my first product that I just don't know what to do about. These are AirPods. AirPods Pro, to be exact. Which is a whole story by itself. So actually, this around this week last year, I got AirPods, these AirPods Pro for my birthday. Unboxing this channel it was a really fun time. But, and I love them. I use them all the time. But then I accidentally, about, I don't know, March, right after a trip to, uh, no, right before a trip to California, I ran these through the wash. And I was not happy about it because they started having Bluetooth connect issues and it was, they wouldn't connect like I had to go into settings like it was super hard to get these to connect then at, and I was like okay I'll just buy AirPods too I can, these can last me but then the last week of school I lost one of the AirPods which made it like they won't connect whatsoever to my phone now that they've been through the wash and I've lost one of them they just won't connect to any of my devices at all so like these are pretty much worthless and now that it's been a year, I was like, oh, do I want to even make a review? I can't, like, I only use them, like, I didn't even use them enough that I feel like I could make a review about these. They just, yeah, they are great, but just don't run them through the wash, don't lose them type of th situation. That's what I would have to say at the end of it. But, and so with that, I didn't even use these for the last six months. I used my regular AirPods more than these. And my regular AirPods actually had a sound issue. They've been just getting quieter just because I've used them for so long. So they were kind of quiet. So, but I figured that they were actually better than using the wired stuff that I could put in here so I could use the wired or those regular AirPods in it. Regular AirPods just seem more convenient. So I used those more in the last six months than these AirPods Pros. So I'm just really hoping that in September that they come out with AirPods Pro 2. Because if they don't, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to last with mediocre AirPods or I'm just going to have to buy new ones of these. So, then the next, which my Apple Watch just reminded me, is my Apple Watch. And I have not gone into a whole lot of detail about what's happened with it, but um, last year uh, I did a video about how I bought this and my Series 3 accidentally cracked it. it. The display wouldn't work. Well, this year it's also been cracked, but you can't really see because there's been a screen protector. I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, my sister had a hanger and she just smacked it and then it cracked the whole thing. It was sad because it was the one Apple product I didn't need to upgrade this year. Which was like a messy and I was like, oh great, I need to buy a new Apple Watch. I'm not going to be able to have one for two months until cheaper ones get cheaper or I could just buy a new screen which is almost as much as a new watch. Like, So I was just like, ah, oh, these are all annoying situations. But then my dad just went online and bought a screen protector to just cover it up and then the touch started working again with the screen protector thing. But, um... It was annoying because I accidentally got it wet one time and I can't get this wet anymore or else it will get into the screen and then it was air bubbly and everything I had to put over a vent. It was just so annoying and now the touch isn't working as well through um, just like doing scribble. That was like, I for some reason I just, it wouldn't get my words right anymore. It just So I'm going to have to hold on to this until the new uh, Apple Watch comes out so I can buy like an older model. This is a Series 5, so I'm like, do I want to get the Series 6? I don't really care about any of the future ones. Series 5 is a perfect watch, and, but it's like if I had to buy a new screen, that's almost half a price as the Series 6, so I might as well just go for the Series 6. <sighs> then it comes to my iPhone and my Mac, which I'm recording out of the webcam of this Mac because I'm just that lazy, but I also don't think that the webcam isn't that bad. Yes, it's 10 years old, but I don't really care right now. Um, so. I've wanted the iPhone, a new iPhone forever. I had the iPhone XR in tw like mid-2019, which was kind of a stupid decision. Um, but yeah, I got that. And it was like the brand new phone. Everybody's like, oh, you have the XR, it's so cool, whatever. And so I was like, oh yeah. And that I think that, just getting that, because um, I got it free from my parents and I thought, it, yeah, it was great. Um, but then I was like, okay, I won't get the 11s just because they were t came out and I wasn't going to beg my parents for the 11s. And then when the 12s came out, I thought those were super cool. I really wanted the 12 mini. It was really compelling to me. But uh, and I was like, okay, if I'm either going to get the 12 mini or the 12 Pro Max. And so I was like, uh, okay, I'll try to save up my money. But I obviously was, well, I don't know, 14 at the time. I wasn't making money. So I was just hoping it would just be my parents getting me. And they're like, um, they were like, it's only been a year since your new phone. If anything, we'll wait two years. Then the next year came around and I was 15 and I finally get a job and I was working throughout the summer of, and till uh, that end of the summer and I was like, ooh, can I get a new phone? The iPhone 13 is about to come out 
if that, that was about when I started looking at rumors and stuff. I was like, oh, the 13 is super cool. Uh, gonna be cool because I'll get all these things with a 12 that are super cool, but 120 hertz and stuff like that. Um, but my parents are like, ah, you have a job now. You can buy your own phone. And I was like, great. But I worked that whole summer and I was only making 725 minimum wage, and I didn't get enough money to buy the 13 Pro at the time. I just so then I was like, okay, I'll just save up for another year, get the 14 Pro. And so then I just I had homecoming, just had a bunch of fun concerts and stuff. And I just started spending my money. Now I have enough money at this time to buy the 14 Pro. But that comes to me. My next part is I do have money to buy the 14 Pro, but that's it. I want a new Mac. <laughs> and because of the M1 Mac stuff. I want it, but I guess I don't need it is what I'm real coming to realize making this video. So when the, those, uh, the new MacBook Pros came out, the cool ones, whatever, you know, the SE card slot and everything came out, I was like, ooh, those are super cool. I kind of want one. But I was like, oh, I, I didn't really, it didn't come to mind that I was like, oh, I really should get one. So then, um, and then a couple months ago, I was like, mm, you know what, I could just buy an older Mac with an SD card slot. I could just, just kind of edit videos off of that, just like I'm doing right now with the computer. So I bought one. And I, I kind of looked, I was like, okay, it's Cali and it's going to be outdated. And I was like, but it's still going to be good. It has SD card slot. Um, and it, yeah. And so I was like, okay, I'll just buy it, see how it goes. Got it, it had four gigabytes of RAM, so I was like, people were telling me, upgrade the, it to an SSD, get more RAM. So what I did was like, oh, I don't really want to go, I don't really know how to go through the process of installing OS onto an SD card slot, so I didn't really, and it was just all so expensive, so I was like, I'll just upgrade the RAM, which made it really fast, much faster than I thought it would make it fast, because I upgraded from 4 to 16, which I wanted to do 8, but they didn't ever had 8 in stock, so I had to spend another $100 off the $100 I bought the computer. So the, this computer was $200 for a 16 gigabyte RAM of mid-specs on this computer, so I don't know if it was a great deal, but I probably can sell this for uh, about as much as I paid for it or whatever. Um, and so I, when I first got it, I um, was like, okay, I got to download iMovie in, because I hadn't gotten Final Cut Pro, and I still don't know, that's, I'll get to that. but. So I'm trying to download iMovie, but it says that it's not a compatible version. I was like, what? It's only, um, Monterey is the newest version. It should be, um, it should at least have two years, but I was like, oh, it's Apple. They always want it on the latest version. So I had to have Big Sur, but I was like, okay, I could either look up a video on how to get it through a patcher, but I was like, oh, it might be slower and everything. And so I was just like, that will be my last resort option. But then what I was able to do is go into my parents' laptop, download iMovie on there. And then when I went to this laptop, I could download an older version. So... And I move. I didn't even. I don't even know what features I'm missing out. It's still better than iMovie on my phone right now. So I've been able to edit my last few videos off this MacBook on iMovie. Um, but that's what. And but I've been realizing it's kind of slow to upload. And then everybody's saying how great these new MacBook Pros are. So I was like, oh, that that base model, two thousand dollar model, seems really good. Um, but I was like, oh, that's really not in my price range. So I could either go get the student discount, because I probably could use it for school, so that would knock off $100, or I could go refurbish and get $200 off, but it's still $1,800, and that's not money I have to spend if I want to get a new phone this month, too. So then I was hoping, ooh, that um, once the um, the M2 Pro and Max chips come out, they'll, those ones will go cheaper, but then they're saying it's not going to come out this year, and it's going to come out next year, so it's like, ah, oh, six months is kind of a long time. So, at this point, I think what I'm going to do is just, when I get the 14 Pro, I'm just going to get a 512 um, storage on it, and just edit iMovie on the 14 Pro, I think is what I'm coming to my conclusion, because I'm not, I haven't gotten Final Cut, so if I'm going to buy a new MacBook, I'm going to want to buy Final Cut, because I could either just use iMovie on here or the computer right now with an SD card slot, which is... This doesn't have enough storage. This is why I wanted a computer, is I wanted more storage. This is only 64 gigabytes. It's not enough to film and edit videos on. So I got this computer. Well, conveniently, the footage was corrupted on the rest part of the part of this video. So there was a little gutch there for a minute. So I also got a GoPro around a few months before I got this computer, and it needed an SD card slot. So I was like, oh, I need a computer to get an SD card slot. So I was like, oh, I don't like adapters. I'm I'm all in for the all-in-one type of things. I would never get a Mac Mini, Mac Pro type of thing just because of that reason. Um, so the all-in-one is, it was like, perfect for me. So it's like, no adapters. I want as least amount of chargers and everything for all of that. So with this, I was like, okay, so I could buy an older Retina or something like that. Um, and so I found this cheap one. It was 2012, so it's 10 years old. But I was like, okay, it, it should work. I actually thought it was 2013 at the time, but I didn't. But that, I didn't know Unibody's, like... 
this was made in 2013, so they wrote that on the listing, so that was kind of confusing. Mac OS Ventura came out a few months later, and I was like, oh, I, I'm missing out a lot of features, you know, I'm on Catalina, so when Ventura came out and showed, like, all these cool things about Ventura, and then I'm already missing out Big Sur and Monterey, and so it's like, I'm missing a lot of features, so it's like, if I ever have to get a new MacBook, it's gonna need to run uh, uh, Ventura, I think. It's just the latest model is 2017 and later, which... None of those have SD card slots, and I, I like the whole all-in-one type of thing. So, uh, it's like, ooh, do I, I have to get, like, the newest model? So, unless, like, the, the new MacBook Pros with M2 Pro chips and M2 Max chips come in and make those ones cheaper, I mean, like, I'm going to have to pay up front the full price, which is, like, I'd have to pay a lot unless I got the education or uh, refurbished, which does are still just a lot of money if I want to get a phone. But then I, was, then I thought, what if I just don't get a computer? What if I just, I'm running iMovie off this computer right now, so if I'm going to get one of those Mac Pros, I'm going to need to spend an extra $300 on Final Cut Pro, which who knows if it's going to become a prescription, well, a subscription at one point. So it's like, what if I just buy a higher storage 512 gigabyte iPhone 14 Pro when it comes out and just edit my videos off of that like I used to on this before it ran out of storage? So, I don't know. This is just, that's all my dilemmas. So please tell me in the comments below what I should be doing right now. <coughs> Peace out.